We spend hours and hours each day sitting in chairs, either being productive at work or working from home. We invest in the right computers, monitors, camera equipment, and even desks. But for many, like me, the chair, it's an afterthought. And after years and years of buying horrible chairs, I've finally realized the importance of a good one. So in the process of updating my entire home office, I wanted to get a new chair for the sake of my back and for some comfort. And FlexiSpot heard that I was gonna be updating my office, so they sent me over their C7 Premium Ergonomic Office Chair for me to review as well as to test out compared to my old Amazon chair. They also sent me over their E5 desk, but this video is about their C7 chair. And although I did receive this chair for free, I will be giving you my honest opinions and review of this chair and I do have a sweet discount for you if you do decide to purchase at the end of the video so for my chair I decided to go with the black frame the black cover color the graphite black cover the foam seat as well as the footrest attachment you can also get a white frame with an all gray color as well as instead of the foam seat you can get the mesh seat and again the footrest is optional the instructions to put it together were very straightforward and simple and everything you need to put it together was in the box I did however use a power drill but if you don't have that everything you need is in the box. So the C7 chair features an adaptive dynamic lumbar support, an adjustable headrest, a breathable mesh back, a four-dimensional adjustable armrest, as well as an adjustable seat tilt and depth, a biometric back support. It also has adjustable height as well as a 90 to 128 degree recline. The chair can also support up to 300 pounds and it is designed for all heights. And your boy's coming in at 510, so fits me perfectly. They also have a 30 day return policy as well as a 15 year warranty. So if you don't like it, you can always return it within 30 days. So I've been using this chair for around three to four weeks now and I do love it. It's really comfortable and I feel like I can give you an honest review now that I've actually had a chance to use it in a real world setting like editing all day as well as relaxing or gaming. I've spent my entire life buying chairs from Amazon or Walmart or just using hand-me-down chairs that are really cheap. They eventually break and after long hours of sitting, they can become really uncomfortable comfortable. It is ergonomically correct. Gah! But here comes the C7. And after having the time to be able to use the C7, the adjustability allows me to fine tune my comfort level. I also love the ability to be able to lean back and edit. And I find that helps with relieving some of the pressure from my neck and shoulders. And it's really comfortable, but not too comfortable to the point where I will fall asleep. I also find the back support is really well implemented and helps prevent my troll posture from getting worse over time. The foam seat is also really comfortable and there's plenty of room for your caboose. Now, I was skeptical about the footrest attachment. I was like, I don't really think I'm going to use this, but hey, let's try it out. And after a while, I did find myself using it pretty much every day. Usually whenever I want to relax throughout the day, or sometimes I'll even use it while I'm editing if I really want to get into some deeper work and crunch out some tasks that I can relax doing. However, it does feel like the cheapest part of the chair. It has a lot of wiggle to it, and it feels like it's made out of a cheaper material, but still it does get the job done. I just wish they would have kind of implemented that a little bit better and maybe use a little bit more expensive material to have a more sturdy and stable footrest. And another thing I wish is that it would kind of extend out a little bit longer. I'm only 5'10", so I'm not that tall. And I just feel like it's a little too short. It's kind of hard to explain, but I feel like if it went out just a little bit further, it would potentially be a little bit more comfortable for people that are a little bit taller. And that way you can really push your feet against it and really kick back and relax versus just resting your feet on the top of it. So other than the quality of the footrest, another thing that I don't really like about the C7 chair is that there is not a locking mechanism for the armrest whenever you're moving them in the up position. You can lock them to prevent them from going on the way down, but when you're moving them up, they just kind of freely go up. And this chair is pretty heavy, so whenever I move the chair, I tend to grab it from the armrest, and whenever I do, the armrest just shoots up and it makes it really awkward to move around. Also, the four-dimensional armrest has a lot of movement to it. It can move left, right, forward, or backwards, but there's no way to lock that as well. So I find myself, whenever I'm working, I'll accidentally move the armrest forward or back or hit it to where it will go a little bit to the right or to the left. Just some minor gripes, but I feel like that's something they can improve on in the next generation of the C7. The current price of the chair that I'm sitting on right now with the footrest attachment and the foam seat comes in at around $389.99 US dollars. It's a pretty steep investment for some, but I assume if you are watching this video, you're already on the hunt for a premium ergonomic office chair and you know they can get pretty expensive. For example, in comparison, the autonomous Ergo Chair Pro, which is this chair's direct competitor, comes in at $500 US dollars. And if you want to get even crazier, Herman Miller has some chairs that go up to $3,000 
dollars for a chair. So chairs can be really expensive. And I understand this is a steep investment for some. I mean, $400 for a chair to me is kind of crazy. But from experience, the last four years, I have bought four different chairs, all coming in at around $100 each. And if you add all that up, you get the price of the chair that I'm sitting in right now. All of those chairs ended up being too uncomfortable. They would break down and they just kind of sucked. Yeah. And if I was to have to go out and buy this chair today after spending that much money, I probably would have just wished I would have bought it before in the first place and saved my back and some money in the long run. Now, you don't have to go out and buy this chair specifically. Definitely do your research. But if you do end up wanting the C7 chair and want to try it out for yourself, they have a 30 day money back guarantee as well as a 15 year warranty. If you buy it and you don't like it, you can always return it. Which for me, I feel like is huge because when buying chairs, you really don't know if you're gonna like it until you sit on it. So being able to have the option of returning it if you don't like it before 30 days is up is a really big deal when going out and investing this much money into a chair. And if you do go for it and purchase the C7, you can save $30 if you use my code WILLHAUL at checkout. So in conclusion, the FlexiSpot C7 Premium Ergonomic Office Chair is a game changer for me. For its price range, the features and comforts that it offers have truly made a difference in my daily life. And in my opinion, it is a great investment for anyone who spends long hours sitting and working. And while it does have its minor flaws like the footrest as well as the lack of a locking mechanism in the armrests, I feel like the overall comfort and support it provides can't be overlooked. And now I believe that comfort is worth investing in. So remember to use code Will Hall at checkout to save you $30 if you do decide to purchase the C7. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.